1893, my great grandfather purchased it from uh, a Scottish investment group that he'd originally talked into buying it in the first place. So it's been in our family for over 100 years. We'll be my kids will be the sixth generation, so I'm the fifth generation to work it. Cow calf, we're optimally running about 400 pair, but that's a goal. That's kind of a goal, and uh, could be more, could be less, depending on the year. I have a bachelor's of science in molecular biology, and that doesn't help a whole heck of a lot with ranching, other than you know vaccines and that kind of stuff. I understand pretty well. I needed needed some backing in the in the uh, ranching area. The, the range management part of it, I, I enjoyed. I'd never had any real introduction to it. I didn't know one grass from another grass until I, I took the class. And it's kind of become a, a hobby of mine now. I've been out uh, looking at grasses and trying to tell what they are and how well we're doing on our, on our range and all that kind of stuff. And one of the biggest it, yeah. things we found out about um, ranching in general is you have to make a plan, which I think the practicum class is good for, at least helping you formulate a plan. And you're never going to follow your plan, but you at least know what you should be doing. <laughs> Sean said, I was told in my class we should be able to judge now whether or not we're going to have good hay. They, did, they stressed in the practicum that April was the time when you, you judge your, whether you're going to have forage or not. That's going to be your moisture and the crucial time. But you know, we had really good hay and we thought, ah, let's just, let's save 20 extra because I think it's gonna be good, we're gonna have the feed and if this is the year to build up, this is supposed to be it. Sean always came home from the classes and he wanted to tell me about all the speakers or tell me about all the subjects and he kept saying, well, you gotta go. And then there was one guy um, you guys had that was almost like a motivational speaker for agriculture people and Sean came home really pumped up and he said he had a great message and you know he said he really understood our way of life as a family and that's that's a tough one because our children are an integrated part of our family and ranch life uh, it's not only your work it's your heart it's your family it's everything and so having someone be able to understand all those components and understand that we're still also trying to make a, a living out of all those three components that yeah. Vowers Ranch. This is a family owned operation and um, I'm the third generation to be here. We have primarily Hereford cows, commercial Hereford cows, and we lease some grass out to other people as well. Uh, my dad is still here working as well as my brother and my husband works part-time on the ranch and full-time in town. I'm not part of Vowers Ranch. I lease grass from my dad here. So we work together sometimes, but I have my own operation. I like learning. I'm always willing to learn and try to be open-minded. And ranching is such a complex business that there's so many different things to know. I really liked the uh, rangeland monitoring and the grazing sessions. Um, we're working right now to try to get some money from NRCS to do some water development improvements. That's probably my favorite part of the practicum. I thought the school was great. It was a great opportunity to meet and listen to nationally known speakers talk on various issues. It was nice that it was throughout the year, so there were different topics that were kind of uh, geared towards whatever was going on. There were lots, lots of different things from the practicum that I just came home and you th it makes you think so much about everything, everything you do. You just reevaluate what you're doing and think of what you could do better. I'm probably not typical for a lot of people these days ranching, first being a woman and also my age because ranchers are getting older and older, but uh, I grew up here and from, from the time I can remember, I loved the outdoors, I loved the land, I loved the animals, just everything about it, the lifestyle.
And obviously some days are challenging and I think, why am I doing this? But really, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. It's called the Deerwood Ranch. It's a 5,000 acre ranch. And uh, my father-in-law, uh, about 25 years ago, uh, came in here and, and uh, bought it, retired from his construction work and came in and bought this place and uh, started operating it as a cow-calf. And he uh, fortunately had his whole family come in and that were interested in being part of this place. And I was the one that uh, was mostly interested in the agriculture. Here we've had cow-calf, we've done yearlings, uh, we've always raised hay. Um, we, we do, we've implemented recreation, we have hunting and fishing. We calve now in May and June. Uh, we used to calve in January and February and uh, you know Mother Nature was telling us we should have been calving May and June. So I, I've looked for opportunities for things that interest me and and uh, this seemed to cover the, every aspect of what I could be, what I would want to know about or what I could use to, to uh, broaden my knowledge. What really got me is a lot of the software that you guys introduced um, and, and being able to use that to my advantage for, I mean, if we were figuring cost of production or we're figuring a cow ration for a feed, a feed ration and calculator and, and then fertilizer expenses. Um, just learning and knowing how to use the computer and, and having those things available, it makes my life easier. You, you guys are really open for anything. You have a set schedule, but we talked about almost everything you could imagine. Uh, and that you learn a lot more from just hearing other ranchers talk in, in the communication that way than a lot of times by what you'd read in a book. And it's comfortable uh, atmosphere. It's not like a, a typical classroom situation, you know, where you're thinking, am I gonna have to know this on a test? But not that you don't quiz everybody, but and try to figure out what they're learning, but it is, uh, very practical. I can't tell you how much it's benefited me. Really, it's, it's, uh, I would recommend it to anybody.